I've seen videos of people of um, the traffic in India and it's just like beep, beep, beep. And then everyone else starts beeping and it's nice. It's, it's not that they even make sounds like a, you know, like a music. Beep, yeah. Beep. <laughs> yeah. Can you show me the view on the other side of you guys? Hi. Uh, hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. And what about you? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Nice to meet you. I'm Saffron. Yeah, I'm Priya. And yeah. where are you from? Sorry, can you repeat that? I, I think I lost you. Oh, is it? Can you hear me clear? I can hear you clearly, but sometimes the end of the words cut off a little bit. Oh, is it? Uh, do, you, do you think that it's breaking in between? Or is like... Uh... It's kind of like I hear most of the sentence and then a couple of words get missed out. It's okay, we can continue. I, what, about, sure. what about now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's better. Much better? Yeah, okay. that's better. I don't know like, what happened, but uh, I think I'm not using the headsets, I mean, earphones. Ah, got so you. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah, oh, no worries. So where are you from, Priya? Uh, Dear yes, Saffron. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Uh, which part? Uh, which part of India is like southern part of India. Oh, so wow. from Andhra Pradesh, which is in the south of India. Oh, beautiful. I've always wanted to visit. Yeah, sure. You can visit. I will just uh, help you. Yeah, you can be my tour guide. <laughs> Only be your tour Oh, so tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do for work, etc.? Uh, for a living, I just work as a verbal trainer. I teach IELTS, Toyota, GMAT, and all. These are English standardized tests. So apart oh, cool. from that, apart from that, I'm a freelancer. I just create content. Oh, no. oh, dreamy! So you can just sort of choose the bits of work that you like. Yes. Yes. Be, uh, only at my free time yeah 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 oh cool do you have like a family that you live with or do you live by yeah. yourself no no no. i have a family i'm oh. mom of two kids and oh. uh, <laughs> so yeah oh and, how old are they uh they are like about one is like five years old and the other one is like six months old so half of them, yeah oh so sweet oh Lovely. I love children. We have, um, my mum's sister has got two young children, so my cousins, and I love being around them. So sweet. So sweet, right? Yeah. But sometimes by the end of the day, you're like, you're happy to give them back. <laughs> yes. Sometimes it is quite overwhelming that, you know, we love, we cuddle, we do all sorts of things. But when they are not feeling well or is wrong with I mean, being a mother, yeah. Um, cool. yeah, that's that's a real, yeah, absolutely. It's just, um, I mean, I can't relate because I'm not, I don't have kids, but um, I have friends that have children, and your whole life just changes because, um, you're always having to think about, about them, everything you do in the day has to be planned specially and yeah it's, it's a tiring job <laughs> but the most important job in the world so <laughs> we always you know busy with something or the other yeah yeah that's and, good and uh where are you you live in uk yeah i live in the uk and i live in the south of england so not too far from london oh, i don't know if you yeah, I don't know if you've been to the UK before, but if you can picture it, I'm literally in the middle of the South, um, about an hour away from London, give or take. Um, so yeah, it's a nice place, nice place to live. Um, it's quite a small town. I'm planning to visit next year. Oh, wow. where do you want to go? Uh, my sister stays, I mean, she lives in, uh, you know, uh, London, but I, oh, I wow. know the place, I'm not familiar with it. Oh, place. wow. Oh, you should definitely come, especially if you have someone to stay with. It means you don't have to pay for an expensive hotel. 
Yes, yes, of course. It's quite expensive over there. She always, you know, keeps on saying the same thing. That's quite expensive over here. Like whether it's accommodation or food or whatever you take, even the yeah. bills, pay regular bills every month, and it's quite expensive. Yeah, it it is ridiculously expensive. I mean, just to live in London and rent a room can cost you anywhere between seven hundred pounds and up, depending on which area you're in so yeah it's it's really expensive yes but worth it <laughs> yeah but she says that the client uh, you know not every time cool but she recently said that it's quite hot in, in, some day, in some days you know you find it quite hot and, you know yeah. times yeah we've had we actually call it an indian summer when it's hot in autumn and we've had one this year um, yeah. We don't have them every year, but yeah, it's when it's hot in September and October. And yeah, yeah it's been really, really sunny. Like in, in September, it was like maybe 25 degrees, 30 at the start, which is really unusual. <laughs> but but I really love the you know, houses over there, how it's constructed. It has a, a big garden, you know, you know, you can enjoy, kids can enjoy. So it really... Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. I think um, we are lucky that we have a lot of green spaces in England. And even if you live somewhere where there's not a garden, there's normally like a park or somewhere close by. You'll find you know, um, beaches, maybe. We do have beaches, but they're nothing compared to like the beaches in the rest of Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of our beaches have got like stones instead of sand. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if it's summertime, oh, it's you, <laughs> you can't just run because you will cut your feet. Yeah. Yes, obviously. <laughs> I think we can just uh, make sure that we wear some footwear so that we won't hurt us. Yeah, we call them like rock hoppers. They're like these little okay. beach shoes. But, <laughs> but um, yeah, part, some parts of England have got really beautiful beaches. Like, um, for example, in Cornwall. I don't know if you've heard uh -huh. of it. But um, okay. it's in the south, and you almost feel like you're in the rest of Europe. It's really, really okay. lovely, but Fine. it's just it's just difficult to get to. Why? Why is it so far away? To be fair, actually, and on your standards, it's probably not that far because India is so big. But for us, yeah. it's really far. It's like four hour drive, maybe. Um, yeah. But drive. the roads the roads are quite small so and. The roads, are, the roads are narrow yeah the in, narrow. in the in the west country if you're driving to cornwall lots of the roads are quite small and like very windy and the traffic can be quite bad so um yeah it can be quite a dangerous drive if you if you don't know what you're doing <laughs> i know i drive in india but i don't know how how far you know the um, I mean, the roads over there are big, but I think uh, everyone follows the, the rules and regulations over there. Yeah, so exactly. It's quite easy, you know, to yeah. go ahead at your own pace. But I don't think so. That's fine over here because in India, you <laughs> find people honking like anything, you know, pee, 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 pee. pee. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen videos of people of um, the traffic in India and it's just like beep, beep, beep. And then everyone else starts beeping and it's nice it's, it's not that they even make sounds like a you know like a music yeah <laughs> so it's quite... it. <laughs> but sometimes it's a bit noisy for you people you know to come here these places you feel a bit noisy you know yeah yeah no i i went to i visited vietnam before and that was very very noisy and i quite liked it because it felt really exciting and I don't know it just felt like it was a completely different experience you know wow <laughs> yeah so you... oh can you repeat i didn't hear you so, so you love vietnam i loved it yeah it was so so nice i thought the landscape was beautiful and the people were great and it was just yeah it was a really really good experience but crossing it the road was, really was very fun. difficult <laughs> right you have so to just walk 
is it okay so you just have to walk so there's no transportation like a public transport or any other transportation we have public transport between like different towns but when you're like in the city center we mm -hmm. didn't catch we didn't catch buses or trains or anything it was just you had to walk or get a motorbike so when you're planning to visit to india i don't know i'm i think i'm planning on doing like one big trip i'm, I'm 25 now and i kind of feel like i don't really want to leave it any later um and India, I want to do, but I need I need to make sure I have enough money. So I don't know. Maybe in the next three years. So it's inexpensive. Like so you can just it'll be in your budget. It's so true. It's yeah. <laughs> uh, one pound is like hundred rupees. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, no, I would love to visit. The current variation is quite huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't find it, you know, expensive. Yeah have quite big hotels which offer you know the kind i mean the food that you get there the appetizer you have everything mm -hmm. but i think oh. come to here you must try you know indian food rather than no because the english indian food is not the same i hear <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's different Our okay we only have 10 seconds left before yes the phone cuts but it was really lovely to meet you same here, same here. Can you show me the view on the other side of you guys? Uh.